watch? Um, well, well, can we start with um, some team news ahead of the game? Um, well, we, we're going to look at, obviously, Decorey's uh, will be suspended for uh, for the game against Sheffield United. Um, we've got a couple of players who were monitoring in terms of having knocks, so it's the normal stuff the day after a game, really. Um, the long term is... Uh, th there's no change with that, so um, we'll be more or less the same squad. But like I say, it's about uh, checking a couple of them to make sure that they're okay. How big a loss is Decore? Because he's the only outfield player to have started every game. You've deployed him a bit further forward. Yeah. So how how's that going to change your plans? Um, well, I mean, it, it, he's he he can certainly stretch teams. He's got uh, he's got a really good capacity to. To go box to box, so. Uh, but I, I don't really overthink situations like this. When players aren't available, um, I don't waste energy uh, thinking about what we're going to miss from that. We'll um, we're in the throes now of, of doing our prep for the for the Sheffield United game because um, these fixtures come very very quickly after uh, after each other. So we will we might have a good, well we're going to have at least one change for sure. But um, over the next few games will need the squad to contribute because um, yeah I mean it's a it's quite a hectic uh, schedule. I've spoken to a couple of your players a little earlier and they said that you're exactly what Watford would need right now and it's already shown in the game against Liverpool and that fantastic win against United. What would you say you've done? Um, keep things pretty simple. Um, I think the players here are uh, it's been frustrating for them more than anything. I think that's the the biggest um, thing that I've noticed that we, you know, we do have very capable players here, but they, um, you know, we've we've probably lacked a little bit of direction at times. Um, but uh, it's important for us to really uh, be accountable for ourselves. You know, but look, at the end of the day, um, we're in a, a difficult situation, but. We have to be able to keep our composure day to day, and things will go against us uh, at times this season. But we've just got to make sure that we, um, yeah, stay composed and make sure that we do enough ourselves. Because it's you know it's always about uh, how you contrib contribute yourselves really. And and I want us to have a very strong team ethic more than anything because it means that what that does it means that. If we're having a bit of an off day, um, the structure of the side uh, can compensate for for you know for, for players making mistakes. You know, so I mean that's it sounds very simple, but um, I suppose it's keep it simple. Yeah, I mean, you, I think the words you said you wanted a collective in. Yeah, yeah, collective buy-in. Buy yeah. yeah. Do you feel you've got that from every player now? I hope so. But it's not just the players. It's you know we, all of us who work for the football club, um, you know, will contribute in some some way. Um, but clearly, it's about the players. The players have got to go out there and, and put the performances in. And um, I've seen some encouraging signs over the last couple of weeks. But we need to maintain that, of course. And you've done something like this before. Obviously, you managed the great escape of Leicester. Mm. Was it seven out of the last nine games you've won? I think. Yeah. Um, What I wouldn't, I wouldn't imagine they'd want to hear about somebody, uh, another team's. No, it's, it's not about that. It's about the situation that we're in here, and how we um, find a solution to our current problem, and that is that we um, are at the bottom of the league, and we've got to make ground on the sides directly above us. But we we need to get some momentum at some point, and. Um, like I say, that the last few performances have been encouraging. Um, it was a big win for us yesterday, of course. Uh, but we've got some really key games coming up as well now. You imagine that magic word, momentum. Mm. Momentum must be sky high at home win against Manchester United. How do you keep that going? By, uh, by giving the same message to the players on a daily basis. I think we have to set pretty high standards for ourselves. and. and um, you know, it's listen. We play Sheffield United, and they are a really good team. They've got 
they've got a fantastic work ethic and uh, they play a, a very um, expansive brand of football. Um, they, they will cause most teams big problems just because of their commitment to how they play. So we've got to deal with that. But we've also got to make sure that we cause them problems. And we've got players in our squad who are very capable of, uh, as we've proved, going to, to Liverpool um, and beating Manchester United yesterday. You know, we've got we've got players who are very, very capable ourselves. So, um, yeah, concentrate on ourselves. Make sure that we are physically and mentally right for each game. Is the is the key message? Is there a, a little bit of an extra edge for this one for you? The fact that it's Sheffield United, your Sheffield Wednesday, and it's Chris Wilder, Sheffield United. Is there a little um, bit? Again, it's. Uh, I, I just think of it more in the context of me going back there as Watford's head coach. You know, um, clearly, I yeah, yeah. I mean, I played seven years at Sheffield Wednesday, but it, I don't really think that has a bearing in terms of how I approach it. This is our next game. Uh, I think Chris Wilder's done a, a marvellous job at Sheffield United. He's, he's a he's a nice guy as well. So um, I don't think my personal uh, um, connection with Sheffield Wednesday is really relevant to our situation now. We've we've got a job to do in terms of putting a performance in, trying to get three points if we can um, to improve our own situation. So, um, yeah, that's the way I look at it. Can I ask though, because he's obviously an Englishman, he's, he's doing incredibly well. He's yeah, yeah. Such There's plenty of good coaches around, British coaches. Um, so I, I can't really, I, I can't really um, see any reason why uh, English managers, British managers, don't get don't get top jobs. But you know, I mean, that's again, I'm not going to, I'm not going to waste much time thinking about that. I mean, um, Chris has uh, earned the right to be in the Premier League by taking a side up. Uh, that's that's how I did it before, you know. I mean, I think that would be a, an assumption that a lot of people would have that your best chance of getting a job in the Premier League is to take a uh, a team up from the Championship. But whether there's a trend now, I don't know. I really don't know. There are more people, more British managers certainly managing. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Nigel, yeah, yeah. Troy will put pressure on himself. You know, he's a he's a talismatic figure for us. Really, um, we need people to players within our side to to uh, go and do what they're picked to do. And um, you know, he's a he's going to be an important player for us. Uh, I think it's the injury that he's had has taken a while for him to recover from. Um, and. Uh, I'm sure in the in the next few months he will continue to be a, a an important player for us. But uh, yeah, I don't really think at the moment it matters who scores. We just need to score more goals. <laughs> Simple as that, really. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look, he's, he's a young man who's settling in, and uh, I think we can, uh, if we can harness his uh, ability and skill, then yeah, I mean he's gonna, he, he'll improve with with time for sure. But uh, you know, we talked yesterday about it not really mattering. Uh, it didn't really matter how we how we won. It was about trying to get the right result. It's always nice if you play well and win. But I think that in the context of our season, it's very important that we um, try and pick points up, whether we're playing well or not. And I think that is about game management. Game management. You know, we've got to be able to uh, function well as a team. Um, I think that's the, the the key message for us at the minute. We've got talented individuals 
um, and they'll have a better chance of flourishing if the if the the work ethic and the and the, uh, the team ethic is is strong. I think that's always going to be the the key thing for us. So um, yeah. Hey, click here for more video. Hey, click. Come on, click. Come on, bro. Done. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Come on, guys.